Euro 2020 is here. United Sancho bid is rejected. Coutinho could be on the move. Marcelo's future is decided and a transfer roundup all coming up on today's One Football Daily News. As I'm your host, Angelina Kelly, let's get into it. So first up, and in case you didn't know, the Euro 2020 competition officially begins tonight, with the first fixture being between Turkey and Italy. Now, Italy, they have reportedly set their sights pretty high for this competition. So manager Roberto Mancini has allegedly stated to his team that he wants them to get to the semi-finals of the competition as a minimum. And you can kind of understand why, of course, they failed to qualify for the 2018 World Cup. So it's actually been five years since we've seen them in a competitive setting like this. So far, they've had a great run. They're currently 27 games unbeaten and they're looking pretty strong for this competition. Unfortunately, Lorenzo Pellegrini has had to bow out of the Italy team due to an injury that he sustained in training on Wednesday. However, I think he will still be having a busy summer as reportedly Barcelona are getting ready to make an offer to the player as they want to lure him to the club from Roma. Meanwhile, looking at Italy's opposition, Turkey, do not underestimate them. They're pretty solid at the back. They only let in three goals in the qualifiers. And in the qualifiers, they actually managed to take four points off World Cup winning France, including a 2-0 victory over them. And in recent World Cup qualifiers, they've actually managed to hold off the likes of Memphis Depay and Erling Haaland from finding the back of the net. And they will definitely want to surprise tonight. Of course, the game takes place at the Stadio Olimpico with just under 16,000 spectators set to be at the the game and this is such a poignant moment in Italy and for Italy fans of course they were affected so badly by the coronavirus pandemic and to have fans finally back in stadiums is going to be a massive moment and don't forget you can find plenty more Euro content on both the One Football app and the Volkswagen One Hub so make sure you check them out and if you're watching on YouTube the links are right beneath this video our second story takes us to Borussia Dortmund who are still in talks with Manchester United over the sale of Jadon Sancho and according to goal the club has have rejected a bid from the Red Devils of about £67 million, but negotiations are set to continue. Reports from Sky Sports state that there is still a gap in valuation, which kind of makes sense as they have reportedly rejected a bid. However, it does seem like both clubs are still of the understanding that they want to get the deal done and they're very confident that it can happen. So the price tag's not going to be £67 million, but reportedly it will be significantly less than the £180 million that Dortmund originally set for Sancho. And this, of course, is due to the economic economic effects of the coronavirus pandemic. Personal terms are not expected to be an issue as these were reportedly already negotiated last summer when United thought they were going to get Jadon Sancho to sign. The club still remains the most likely club that he will move to, although other teams are reportedly interested. And what this means is that the move to Manchester United is just getting more and more likely. However, he is not the only Bundesliga star that Manchester United are reportedly interested in, as according to Sport One, they're also after Kingsley Coman. They have reportedly registered interest with Bayern Munich, and although the player would like to stay at the Allianz Arena, his representatives are still going to shop around to see if they can get any other clubs interested. I personally feel like he will definitely be staying at Bayern Munich though. And if he does move, I just don't know if I could see him moving to Manchester United. And this is all just in case they do not get Sancho to sign, which I think will be happening. But speaking of Munich, we of course are here in Munich thanks to Volkswagen for Euro 2020. And we've been creating some really cool videos looking at all the different things that we've been getting up to in the city. So keep your eyes peeled for those videos in the upcoming weeks. Our next story is all about Felipe Coutinho. Now he of course is on holiday recovering from his injury but according to reports in Brazil and from Mundo Deportivo it seems like Marseille could actually be interested in signing the player so their president really wants to take things to the next level when it comes to signings. He wants to keep their manager Jorge Sampaoli happy. He of course took the reins last March. He has requested that they get some good transfers in and Coutinho could be one of these transfers. The French club will of course be featuring in the Europa League next season. They allegedly want to be competing at the top for the Ligue 1 title, so it makes sense that they want to get some new players in. Looking at Coutinho's club Barcelona, they allegedly do want to recoup a little bit of money. Coutinho has been linked with a transfer away from the club before with the likes of Arsenal and Everton reportedly interested, so could we finally actually see him departing from camp now? The major issue here is of course going to be the salary. Marseille 
cannot compete with the wages that Barcelona are paying him, but reportedly they're still going to test the waters with the player. Of course, Coutinho is finally seeing the light at the end of the six-month tunnel. He's been out with injuries, he's had two operations, and he's hoping that by next season he will be 100% fit. But the question is, can he stay fit? Regarding the move to Marseille, I'm not too sure if Barcelona are going to let him go just yet. Maybe they will want to see how he fares returning from his injury. But like I say, they apparently want to try and get a little bit of money back. There have been reports that they're willing to sell Coutinho. So could a move to the French League be something that he's interested in? I guess we'll have to wait and see. Next up, and of course, yesterday on the Daily News, there was talk of Sergio Ramos and his future with Real Madrid and if he could actually be staying with the club. And another player that looks like he could be featuring for the club next season is Marcelo. According to Marca, barring any changes in circumstances, it seems like Marcelo will be playing his final year of his contract at the Bernabeu. Now, of course, he's different to Ramos because, like I say, he does have another year left on his contract. But it seemed like there were rumours that Real Madrid were reportedly willing to let the player go despite being at the club for so long as he isn't really their first choice left back. Of course, they have the likes of Ferland Mende. And there is also Miguel Guiteres, who seems like he is definitely a prospect for the future in that position on the pitch. However, Real Madrid still do hold the player in very high regard. He's the vice captain. He does have really good relationships with the powers that be at Real Madrid. And reportedly, they've sat down and they have said that they completely respect the player, the fact that he's been at the club for so long, and they want him to see out the final year of his contract. There have been no talk about contract negotiations for maybe an extension. To be honest, I'm not too sure if I can see that happening. Like I say, they do have players that are competent enough in that area of the pitch. But it's great that he does get to play his final season with Real Madrid. However, this could be a really big season for Marcelo if they manage to win some silverware. So of course, Paco Gento is the most decorated player at the club with 23 trophies. Marcelo is actually on 22. So if Real Madrid do manage to win some trophies, he could actually finish his time at Real Madrid as being the club's most decorated player. What a way to go out. And finally, we have our transfer roundup. This is where I take a look at some of the other news and transfers going on in the footballing world. And first up, it seems like Spain are going to be boosted by the fact that Diego Lorente will be able to return ahead of their opening game against Sweden as he has a negative Covid test. Manchester United are set to begin negotiations with Paul Pogba's representatives about a new contract as he enters the final year of his current one. In case you missed it, Jorginho Wijnaldum has officially signed for PSG on a contract that will take him until 2024 and he will be earning 10 million euros net per season. And finally, the Court of Arbitration for Sports have reduced Ajax goalkeeper Andre Onana's doping ban to nine months. So he will be able to start training with the club from September and he'll be able to start playing again from November. And what this means is that Arsenal will now reportedly step up their interest to sign the keeper. So that's everything for today's One Football Daily News. As always, check out all the other content we've got here. And until next time, I will see you all later.